Bradwell Electronics has had an exciting and, other than a brief period after the singing toaster incident, noble past. Mm. Every Bradwell employee should know and take pride in Bradwell's history. Your final task is to connect to the past in order to step into the future. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a huge sewer game. We have to connect the past in order to something the future. We gotta do something to do something. So... Okay, so... 1995, hey, The SMP's rotation functionality could be super useful in this section. You know, just throwing it out there. Everyone knows about Bradwell Electronics, but sometimes we do get applicants who lie about their knowledge of Bradwell products. Not you, right? 1964, 1977, two, 1995, 2008, 2021, 2021. So let's see. 1965 is here. Then 1977 is over there. So it's a. I, oh, I guess it's supposed to I see. go like here, turn. Fun fact Bradwell's here, history turn. is such common knowledge that no search engine bothers storing it. I think you were the line, right? No, nope. oh. I didn't. Ah, do that. the timeline puzzle. A classic. It's basically playing dot to dot. So, what came first? The brutalist building? Or the other brutalist building? The dates you need should be in that room. I don't remember them all off the top of my head. Don't worry if you're stuck. We have all the time in the world. Food supplies, however, are limited. <laughs> Okay, so it went from 1965 to 1977. Yeah. Shit. No, oh. okay. So, I fucked that up. But I'll just take these two. Shelly and Troy believe in you. Oh, wait, I could have just had it there. So, this is 1964 to 1977. So, it was fine the whole time, and I freaked out for no reason. <laughs> And then I want that to lead to. If you pretend not to know Bradwell's history, then you can also solve the puzzle by the power of deduction. And then it goes to here. That should be it, right? Yeah, is it supposed to start? Oh, wait, is it supposed to start from there, though? Is it that other Shelley one? Shelly and Troy have moved on, by the way, but you. Oh, oh wait, I see what here. we need to do. Don't worry. I got this. Okay. It needs to complete the loop. See? Yep. Well done. Onwards to the final room. This is fun. Congratulations, Dr. Sega, and welcome to the Breadwell family. You chose dogs over cats. Some might say you're barking mad, but all we know is you're one of us now. You've shown <laughs> that you have the knowledge, the skills, and most importantly, the loyalty to contribute to Breadwell R&D and help secure the world's future. Now, head to clean water and energy research via the lifts in the security office. Your Bradwell buddy, Dr. Chowdhury, will meet you in her office to complete your induction experience. Our buddy... Please note, exit door is inaccessible due to unforeseen circumstances. Guess we'll have to find you a detour. Or I can just use the planks that you guys gave me. Yeah. Scammed. Oops. Is this it? Yes, it is. You can't stop me now. You gave me the power. Don't stop me now. I you don't have the power to, to, to stop, stop me stop now. now. Oh, don't fall. Okay. This is fun. Yeah, this definitely gives me 
portal feels. Yeah. But, like, portal plus Stanley Parable, because it's got that, like... No, this is pretty standard portal. Stanley Parable, the, the only similarity is an overbearing voice talking to you, telling you about your future. That's pretty much... I mean, I'm going up based off of, like, what it looks like. Do this... I want to go down here? Next time we hang out, let's just get sushi instead, okay? Am I oh, missing close something? Close this door. I don't close get it. it. Close this door. The door? No problem. I can do that for you. I feel so smart that I figured out one puzzle. Mm-hmm. NDA breach risk. Knowing that exists makes me a little concerned. Breach risk. Whoa. Hmm. So these are the people they're scouting. Interesting, and certainly something we shouldn't be looking at. Well, we're looking at it. I'm looking at it's it too extra late. hard now. Wait, wait, look at the other one, though, because that one was the... So people of interest map. That's for prospective employees, but look at this. NDA breach risk map. Previous Bradwell R&D... And previous employees, people who quit, they're like, let's kill them. <laughs> we gotta keep an eye on them. Locked. Do you know, I worked one time, I didn't sign an NDA, but it was a non-compete clause. Mm -hmm. But it was like for the dumbest thing ever because it, it was a tanning salon. And I was like, what do you think I... A lowly employee am going to do. If those lives are anything but amazing, then I'll be sad. No spoilers. She seems pretty peppy considering her entire workplace just exploded. She did it. Mm. She's just, she's guilty. Uh. Okay. Running. Okay, sure. Accessing the door controls. What's this? What is that? It's a door. Uh... Probably can't go in it. Or can we? Yeah. Hey, good news! Elevators are up! And they're down! They're working again, is what I'm saying? And, 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 I also found a way for you to get there. There's a vent entrance in the big map room, which should lead you directly back out to the atrium. Ooh, their spending is mm -hmm. way above their earnings. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a thing we need to know. I feel like I probably shouldn't comment on that, but that spend amount doesn't look great. Yeah. I like how they made it simple. No, more money going out, less men in, and we're like, oh, oh, I oh. get it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> What does it say? Missed go out today. Oh, must go out today? Must go out today. Oh, you're poking around in the offices. If you see a stationary cupboard, excellent selection this season. I thought they were saying the mist, like the movie The Mist. <laughs> I was just like, whoa. Excited. Ooh, give me this. Oh, I can't steal the... The Troy. This feels like a lot of paper to say, arm goes back, arm goes forward, Amber goes swimming. I like that she has things to say about the stuff we pick up now. Finally, yeah. Finally. Have, a, have some opinions, lady. Maybe yeah. they just didn't want us to get distracted before. Probably. Also, she didn't know us yet. Hey, no. more good news. Got myself some sweet access permissions for water and energy research. We should be all set now. I always, you ever really think about video game events and think, these are not how any events work. No. Well, because they're all huge. And they all just lead to different rooms. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. I have to put the thing down. I was trying to stand up. <laughs> this person's just duck walking through. They're not even crawling. Quark, I can sense it. Quark, quark. God, remember high school and they'd be like, okay, it's time to duck walk for... High school? You know, like high school sports. Oh. I don't know that... 
We oh, we had to do a duck walking. Oh, it was awful. Yeah. I we I th we would do like walking lunges and stuff like that. Why is the vent made out of well, substance? Well, congrats. You're out of induction and with one of Bradwell's greatest inventions in your hands. Don't break it. The paperwork would kill you. Anyway, head to the elevators in the security area. I've got elevators to check out myself. The elevators in the security area. Okay. Oh. Security. Haha. -ha. Can I open this door now? No. Damn it. Of course not. Maybe I could break this glass. I want to know what's in that office. So okay. Security's this way. That's blocked off. Security. Ah. Ah, no good. Time to go around the problem instead of facing it head on. Very British. Wasn't the window trashed? Maybe that's your way in. Sorry, the window's not trashed. We'll show her. Yeah. Or this is the transit room, right? Immigration, that's immigration support. support. I've never been here when there are no people around. It's weird. Even on evenings and weekends, we all live down here, so there's always folks milling around. Whoa. <laughs> hmm. I've never been here when there are okay. no people around. It's weird. Even on evenings and weekends, we all live down here, so there's always oh, yeah, folks milling right. around. Okay. So we have to get, get up there somehow, but we we got the tubes. So oh, now yeah. we can platform over there. Very interesting level design. Oh, and that's why they have that cliff going off. Yeah. Remember I fell down? Mm-hmm. So now we can get across to this thing. <gasps> Steal it. I now I have a blueprint for knitting needles. You don't know what we're gonna we're gonna have to like oh. make it and then shoot it at some interdimensional monster. Yeah, and if you didn't pick them up at this point, too bad. You lose. The game's bro forever broken. Forever you can't. broken. Our traversal block. I, well, you you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. <coughs> For a new building, some of it sure is dusty. Well, it just exploded, so yeah. you know. Or yeah. are you breathing in substance block dust? Yeah. And then when we use, try to use it, it gets sucked out of her body and the blood splurts out of her because we're sucking out of her body because she's been breathing I'm it. I'm picturing, like, some sort of, like, magneto. Yeah, the like, part where the Mystique, the, yeah, <laughs> Mystique injects, injects the, the dude's butt with metal and he goes to work and he's like, Ooh, did you, Ooh. have you been taking iron supplements? <laughs> it's like, she's like, there seems to be a lot of iron in your diet. <laughs> No, I'm too far away to take it back. What? You have, ah! to, you have to believe in yourself, Mari. I can't do that. Is that a joke? That's dangerous. Oh, look, substance blocks just laying, just around. laying around. The the most amazing technological You know, innovation. I wanted to be a detective when I was a kid. I thought it'd be really cool collecting clues and stuff. I ended up working in an underground science facility, so I didn't do too badly. Yeah, you blew this place up. I know you did. Um, has everyone working here written a book except me? Yeah, they get bored being trapped inside of a weird building. Okay, so you're looking for the security office. It's in the corner of the atrium, opposite direction to the train station. I think it's over that way. I know, I'm exploring. I think I can climb up this. No, I can't. Just kidding. Jokes. Classic comedy. I guess no one got injured. We haven't found the bodies yet. Not yet. We can only hope. Hey, just stepping into an elevator, but don't worry. Our guides should still keep us connected. See you down in clean water and energy research. Yep, Bradwell's got you covered from every angle. I like how the security screens are huge. Create or consume. Don't worry about any of that. Just head to the elevators. No. 
I want to read. Madame Dupuis. Oh, I like that cover. I wonder if these are real books and they're trying to tell us something. You're in a murder mystery game. Yeah, I think I got it. I got that, yeah. Murder mystery. Oh, shit. Oh, we oh. almost missed this. Ugh. Museum security ahead of party. Usual Bradwell R&D security. Escort Melissa Bradwell and team to museum. Escort John Bradwell and team to museum. Chance of evacuation event high. Hmm. Interesting. It's like they knew. Mm-hmm. Oh, the security schedule. Huh. Um, yeah, they were on high alert. Not surprised. The solstice celebrations must have been a pretty big deal. Lots of high-profile people. The thing that really Where makes... did we get substance from? I'm telling you, interdimensional monster beings. Or magic or some shit, because it's on sol the solstice, which is a special day for many pagans and even non-pagan religions, where, you know, magic shit happens. And they're next to Stonehenge. Mm-hmm. They pray to some fucking Cthulhu tentacle eyeballs, and they traded the souls of the entire company. We probably signed our soul away in that NDA disclo disclosure mm -hmm. and said, we it's, can sell your soul away to a Cthulhu the, mythos the, monster at any time and trade for any trade goods or the things thereof. The non-disclosure agreement disclosure? Yeah, that. <laughs> Sometimes they, I'm trying to get a thought out and I forget what words I are. I found the mother load. <laughs> a food storage freezer and no power. So much ice cream. She seems very cheery considering she doesn't know where any of the people she was living and working with are. Yeah. Well, it's... it's no need for that. In fact, the less we interact with any security stuff, the better. What if she's a robot? What if she is a Cthulhu monster? I was, you were thinking she's a robot. I'm thinking she's a Cthulhu monster. Yeah, I'm thinking she's an AI because she's got control over the building systems and stuff. SMP well, detected. Removal of blueprints and substance from the substance mobile printer required to comply with the Bradwellian conversancy protocol. Fine. Please interact with the Bradwell substance and blueprint reclamation system before access to water and energy research can be granted. Ah, yes. Substance shortage. That's a thing, actually. Spoils all the fun. Access to water and energy research granted. Okay, so I'll see you in water and energy research. They did some mysticism shit. I know they did. I can sense it. They just took away our blueprints and substance. That's okay. I'm talking about the overall storyline. Mm. Welcome to clean water and energy research, Dr. Sager. You've been assigned an office and a shared lab space. Warning. Electrical shortages detected. Lifts have been taken offline for health and safety. Yeah, I noticed. Stupid elevator. Ugh. The freaking doors won't open. Ugh. You go ahead. See if you can find Dr. Chowdhury's office. Ugh. So there's something ominous about the water thing. Mm. We're putting chemicals to brainwash everyone. Something. Everyone poops out substance now. Yeah, I clearly <laughs> yeah. have a complete abandon for procedure. Taking elevators when I shouldn't. Wait. Still wearing my guide when I should have left it behind. One what if the algae? And one has been a good call. That's what I was just about to say. I mean, this closed-up elevator is just delightful. Dude, what They're if... are putting the... algae in the water. You give the algae to the people. The people poop out substance. I think... Genius. I feel like the algae might be the aliens or whatever the fuck it... Like, what if, there's some sort of ominous presence throughout all of this. What if the algae is the bad guy? The algae is the bad guy. You know what I mean, though. Something about the algae. You're See, right, it's connected to the substance. It must be. It's gotta be connected. These stupid elevator doors are annoying. Ugh. Like pimples that don't pop. I wonder if maybe the substance is people, and that's why we can't find anybody. Mm. The substance is maybe people. they got like reclaimed. 
something about it, it has to have some sort of overall malicious intent, though. Because I feel right. like they are next to Stonehenge. They're doing weird summoning shit. But I just have to wonder. How could they, if there's all, like, the celebrities and high-profile people, how would they get away with hey, disappearing Hey, I've managed to people? unscrew the elevator control display. One second. Oh, the worst cable mess. Have people no conscience? Use cable ties! It's just weird that nobody else is here. There's not a trace of them anywhere. And I wonder hey, if they I, thought... I, I think... Uh, oh, come on, doors... Yes, I'm out. Finally. Phew. Okay, I... I'm gonna scout for a way to medical, and you say hello to Dr. Chowdhury. <laughs> Imagine, that'd be very awkward. I wonder if, though... So, all the important people in the world were coming to one place, and they were coming to a place of what used well, to be a place of worship. They didn't say it quite like that. Well, important people were coming to a place of worship on a day of worship to this very old thing. And usually people associate very old places of worship with some old god stuff. And I wonder if they thought we're going to do this thing and then we're going to be more powerful because that's usually how conspiracy theories go. Powerful people work together worshipping something and they do weird shit and they become more powerful. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that was the idea. Yeah. And they're okay and they wanted to do something to the rest of them or the ritual went bad. I don't know. Or maybe it's just science and they just happen to be next to Stonehenge. We don't know. But the algae, yeah. I wonder if the algae is the bad guy. So sort the, of. the substance has been around for five years, because they said that that was discovered in 2021, and it's now 2026. When did the algae so come out? dark corridors. If I see spooky twins, I quit. That was... I don't remember if that had a year on it. I remember we, I was looking at it, but... Or, I mean, is it 2026 now, or is was that their, I think like... it's 2026 now. Okay. Today is to the solstice 2026. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Photosynthesis and algae. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that cover. Yeah, don't say anything about it, secret monster. What if that thing we heard walking around was her? Yeah. What if she, we see her and she's like, <laughs> hi, and she's eight feet tall. Wait, wait. <laughs> do you remember that one, uh... What is it called? Sex, love, and robots, or death, love, and robots? No, uh, it's yeah, it's death, love, and robots. Death, love, and robots episode where the guy is like imagining. You have insufficient permissions to access the laboratories. Please see Dr. Chowdhury to complete orientation. What have you saying? seen her office yet? It shouldn't be hard to find. The, the guy is like imagining something, and he discovers that it's an illusion, and then he's like, "Reveal yourself to me." And the thing is like, "Are you sure? You're sure you want to see <laughs> me?" Yeah. You're sure. And he's like, yeah, dude, I want to see it. He's like, yeah, it's totally fine. And then he's like, ah! never mind, never mind. She's like, all right, erasing your brain. Yeah. The weirdest thing is, though, she had sex with him. Yeah. It's like, you didn't have to do that. To, like, the premise is a thing is taking care of people who got lost. That's the premise. And I'm like, you know, you could have just, like, taken care of him. You didn't need to fuck him. Yeah. Like, that one didn't have to be part of it. I guess it just got lonely. Yeah. <laughs> Please but wait here until weird. Dr. Trowdry has returned to complete your induction. Listen. Yeah. If I were you, I'd have a snoop and see if you can find her guide. Our contracts are pretty clear about not removing Bradwell Tech from the building. I'm clearly not a model employee. Listen, okay. Dark creatures from beyond the void have needs too. They have feelings, Mari. You can't just be like, oh, just stay out there. Take care of everybody else. Never think of yourself. You know? Mm -hmm. I want to be able to pick this up and put it down here because it seems to be part of the puzzle, but... Huh. Why don't you just print the thing over there? I can't. It won't let me. Oh, oh maybe you're right. Yeah. Hold on. No, it, it only lets me do it like this. Oh. Hold on. Let me think. Hmm. There must be more... T what, we, oh, we'll just keep going. Interact reclaim mode. Must not be made of substance. Some of these hallways have carpet. 
Maybe I should shuffle my feet and static shock the system back to life. Hmm. No, not gonna be useful. I hope this letter finds you well. I realize I haven't heard from you since you took your new job at R&D London. Also, oh, excuse me. Also, no email? I understand, I understand swearing off social media, but email? Anyway, I'm writing in regards to a favor. Uh, redacted. They have been singing and dancing about their new water and energy systems, but trying to contact my connection with them seems to be drying up dead ends. The closest I've got to an answer about it was something to do with blank being priority. Maybe if you if you can ask around and see what the plans are for the blah, wishing you all the best and hope to hear from you soon. Kindest regards, Rashimi. This oh, Rashmi. Rashmi, sorry. Ah, so this is what the military does, remember? Mm-hmm. I know. I, I like that we read this because this is kind of like, oh, like, wait. So no social media, no email. I'm trapped here. You um already showed me this one. No, I definitely did not. Well, it's an office. Nothing more, nothing less. Don't forget to snoop around for a guide. Dear Mira, how the past three years have flown by while I'm... How, how flown by while I'm sad to see you leave I'm sure you are certainly off to help more people than you could ever you ever could with just us having worked with Bradwell Foundation in the past I'm sure you'll make great things at Bradwell R&D maybe we'll be using some of your designs in the future as thanks we commissioned something's R R RJ's R something's brother. something's brother to create this table for you I know how you love a puzzle box so this is one just for you. He even cast a combination reminder which can double as a nice ornament. Take care, Mira, and thank you. I wish for you nothing but happiness and success. Rashmi. So that is a puzzle box. Wait, I just figured out how to do it. But I also thought they said they couldn't contact the people who had gotten the water and electricity. And the water is purified by algae. Wait, which people? Here, we'll go back to the other letter. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. They Maybe have been we can singing. power the service elevators with the power cells from our guide. Yeah, but trying Attempting to, to remove a guide's power cell will result in an immediate and potentially harmful discharge of electricity. Guess I'll put the hammer down then. So they think trying to contact my connection with them seems to be drawing up dead ends. So I'm thinking they seem to be giving clean water and electricity to people who are in dire need of it, which also means people who are really impoverished. They're talking about their connection with Bradwell. Even so, I think they're targeting people who are in desperate need of water and stuff, and then nobody would really care if they disappeared. So oh. yeah, I think you're right. The algae, they give them the algae and something happens and to them. And they poop out substance. And they become substance, maybe. Hmm. Or something like that. But so so this we look at it and emulate it. Okay, now I get it. Oh, I see. Insuffi we gotta go find some substance. Can I open this? Is there substance in the box? What's in the box? So we gotta go make some more, we gotta go find some substance, but mm -hmm. that's cool that we opened that. Oh wait, did we go in here? Uh, I don't think so, no. Give me some substance. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then this one would just be, huh? A thousand times over. You're rude. Looks like this was a meeting about the Clean Water Initiative. That program's older than this facility. Maybe they're working on a way to accelerate it by using Bradwellium somehow. Oh, I was wrong. They're doing it in first world countries. Well, our definition of first world, of course. So phase one, London, Manchester, Glasgow. I can't say words. Phase two, these, phase three. So it looks like it's pretty... These are all capitals, like very important. Well, what? my perception of important cities or high population areas that high population, high income areas. Uh, I don't know that all of these would necessarily. 
necessarily be high income. Yeah, all are of they? these. All of them like, are. Okay. Well, except for Washington, D.C. But those people, that's where world leaders well, live. Well, yeah. Okay, so I I think it's safe to say that they're all, like, major, m- major, major cities. Right? Yes. Yeah. Even if we're not going off of... Yeah, that's definitely all confidential stuff. And Melissa overseeing the Clean Water Initiative directly. I can't quite that's see. very odd. Can't Priority quite. for pho- photo bio... Reactor and, and clean water solutions. Reclassification oh, is high priority. No, check this out. Bread Wellian shortage critical. Hmm. That's the Bread Wellium... Oops. Do you want to take a break and just just run over and grab it? No, it's okay. I I think I took them before we started. I think, or you know, I think so, I can go check. So, I'll, let me just go check really quick. Okay, I'll walk around and make sure. Hey, I found a bunch of freight elevators in the maintenance section. Hang on, there. The bad news is they aren't powered up, so we can't use them just yet. I'll look into it. In the meantime, you need to find a way to get to maintenance. I need to find some so- Oh, hell yeah. Give me that stuff. <gasps> Emails! Hello, this is Bradwell Voicemail System. The system connects you to- Okay, we got it. So... Find the lift. Lift doesn't work. It's the Bradwell Shuffle. One step forward, two steps back. This is an auto-welcome response from HR. Congratulations for successfully completing your induction. It's not an introduction. It's an induction. This is your first step in- into engaging yourself with the company and your new position. You will find a welcome pack on your desk and should have everything you need to get started, including the latest and unreleased version of the Bradwell tablet, a welcome book- booklet, and sub- substance brick. Are you okay? Yep. Just stretching. On your computer, you have access to your company email and voice message service. There should be a test substance blueprint attached to this email. If it is missing or faulty in any way, please contact your IT manager. After act Acclimatizing. acclimatizing to your office please go and visit your assigned buddy mira chaudry their office will be unlocked for you showing green markers so okay okay install blueprint rubbish bin So now we have enough. We can go through her stuff now. Mm Mm-hmm. Got to go make a puzzle box. Yeah. Puzzle box. No. I need more? I need a whole new unit to do this? Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Let's go wander around because I think we'll probably have to... Find Dr. Chaudhary's guide. Access, access me. Find her guide. Yeah. Oh, here we go. No, it's just her tablet. We need to find, like, her, like, I think her glasses or something. Oh, I saw that. Oh, you did? Mm Mm-hmm. Where? Upstairs. Oh, no. That was something else. Find her glasses. But they're, maybe they're in the box. Inside the box? I've tried to open it. I can't open it. What? No, I meant like once we complete the puzzle, oh, we'll be able to open it. Oh, okay. And get and get it from there. Well, time to find some substance then. I don't think that book's going to help us. Let's see. Well, we can make a trash can now. <laughs> 
So, I don't know what that does. Yeah, I don't either. It's one of those healthy birthday parties. What What about the surfboard? The surfboard? Yeah. <gasps> Big brain. <laughs> Big brain. Check out the brains on bread. Big brain. <laughs> Have you seen that brain? Big brain. All right, so we, we need more because it only says three units, even though it looks like eight. Yep. Can you imagine going to a birthday party? Here's the cake. It's watermelon. I'd be like, fuck so, off. So, I mean, I gotta be honest. If somebody gave me the choice between cake or watermelon, I'd probably take watermelon. Well, I'm sorry that you're better than everyone. All right. Even if it was the same amount of like whatever, I just I'm not really a cake person. Doesn't look like a light read to me. Help. Maybe we can run through here and... There's gotta be stuff we can suck up. We can steal! Looks like someone was trying to clean up something that was already broken here. Oh yeah, maybe we can knock off one of these. No, I don't think so. So many dark corridors. If I see spooky twins, I quit. Look, your Bradwell buddy wrote a book. You should write one too. Maybe about imposter syndrome. Wait, look back around that table at the stuff so we don't have to come back here. Anything? No. Global economy. Humans need not apply. The rising <laughs> human cost of AI replacing workers. <gasps> what if she is an AI, Stacy? You were right. Yeah. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put that there. That's what I'm saying. I wonder if I take a picture of the box, she'll say something. What box? Oh, the puzzle box? Mm hmm Well, it's an office. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, that is one ornate table? Something is definitely going on with that indent in the top. I wish I could just take this and put it here. I know. We went back and we found the surfboard. Mm -hmm. So maybe we just have to go around to all these places, keeping in mind that, like, yeah. Oh my god. I'm yeah. done. I'm over it. I'm not over it, actually. I really <laughs> like this game. <laughs> not that. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome back, Dr. Chowdhury. Your new Bradwell buddy, Dr. Alex Sager, is waiting for you in your office. I'm big mad that I can't get that stuff I back. know! <laughs> what? Big mad? <gasps> Emails. Hey guys, or shall I say aloha. We're all set, set up for the party this evening for Ken's 55th birthday. Everyone's done a great job of keeping this secret and hopefully he will be delighted with the surprise. So let's all meet in the raised seating area at 6. Yes, I want you all leaving your desk on time today. Surf's up or something like that. Emily, please let us out. Help. Uh, from Ken Giller. To Ari, Mira. Okay, go ahead. Ari, well, this is her email, so it's all to her. Uh, I mean, there is loads of stuff going on in this building, so it could be combining research areas, but this is, wait, did we, what was the subject line on this? Re-requested oh. updates to blueprint from Melissa Bradwell. Okay. Do you want to start though? Okay. Hey, oh. Kenny, I just got an email from Emily. Apparently Melissa or one of her people have asked for a code module to be added to the ALG pod blueprint. Neither of us know what it's for and I'm concerned. <laughs> Mira. I mean, there's loads of stuff okay. going on in this building. Might have found a lead on how to get down to medical. I'll go check it out. On in this building, so it could be combining research areas, but this is what happens when your research work is actually going to be used in the real world. It's not just it, it's not just yours anymore, and especially for something as big as the Clean Water Initiative, Melissa and the rest of the board will have their own agendas. Ultimately, the blueprint will function the same. Your work is still going to help thousands, if not millions, of people around the world. So is it worth getting into an altercation about? Here, I have a thought. Mm -hmm. 
maybe, well, let's read these emails first and then I'll do my thought just in case. Um, hey, Mira, I got another module update request from Melissa Bridewell's people. New encoding snippets to add to the base blueprint of the algae pod. They said it was important to get it tested ASAP to make sure it had the initial OK for the water initiative meeting on Sunday. It'll be an important part of the big summer solstice fundraiser presentation, apparently. Remember Should probably my take to medical? False alarm. Don't ask. Should probably take me about half a day, so I should have it to you to test tomorrow. Emily. Do you know what the module is for? From the test we've done, it's already work, works pretty well as is. Above my station to be asking Melissa about her plans. My guess would be efficient, efficiency improvements. God knows what they're trying to squeeze substance supplies for all they're worth. I think what they're doing is they're trying to create a pod that will go on these clean water things that will create substance mm -hmm. because they want to be able to, they're like a quote unquote nonprofit, but they want to be able to profit off of like, oh yeah, we're bringing clean water to everybody, but secretly we actually- We're harvesting the babies. Or just <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like- that way it's like they get to say like, oh, we're bringing water to everybody. But in reality, it also makes this other thing that actually makes them money. Mm -hmm. Hello, team. A quick update for everyone. The Bradwell Summer Solstice Celebration is happening on Sunday. Yes, Sunday is the longest day of the year, which is very helpful for us cave dwellers. In any case, the Bradwells are holding a fundraising event at the Stonehenge Museum up topside. Part of Melissa's speech tonight will be about the algae water for purification and green energy system, highlighting its dual use as clean water provider but also producer of hydrogen for energy use. In our system's case with fuels, with fuel cells, this should be a big hit with government and companies around the world and no doubt get people climbing over themselves to get these systems installed all over the globe. As everyone is aware, the main initial push with this phase of the Clean Water Initiative is the urban water pro problem. So these systems have been targeted for use in city water systems. Huh. I know this isn't a move that anyone here is a fan of, but once we have shown the system's effectiveness in the cities, we will then have more scope for expansion into more rural areas. So Why is no one a fan? Well, so that makes sense. No, no, no. I understand. So... That's, that's why with that map that we saw, they're all major metro areas because they're like, oh, we want to see it in like high population density areas. But everybody hey, that worked on I've this... I've managed to get into one of the power distribution control centers. It's not looking good. The facility generators aren't in great shape, so we need to find a way to get more power on the grid. Or we may be stuck here. What were we saying? But most likely the people, the researchers that work, if they're working on a clean water and energy initiative, they want to see it brought to like, you know, mm. areas where they don't have access to water, you know, not Los Angeles. I think it's so... Ba, 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 ba. There's very minimal damage to the lower levels. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. Uh oh, ominous music. Got blue plants. Ooh. Did you push something? I just saw a panel light up. A photo bioreactor? So that's what they've been working on down here. I'll be honest, I don't really know much about photo bioreactors, only that algae and sunlight is involved. Thank God it's the longest day of the year. Oh, it's using hydrogen powered fuel cells. Those things are powerful. Amazing, really, when. Uh oh. Red pop up boxes are never good. What the hell is happening? Are you okay? And now my screens have gone blank. Do you have any more details? Can you show me what's going on? Ugh, that's not good. Not just one, but three problems. Huh. I, I passed some CO2 extraction equipment earlier, so I'll go check it out. You, however, need to look into the algae pod and pump room situation. If we can fix these, I'm pretty sure I can bridge the fuel cells into the main grid and power those service elevators. So they kept saying about how it was the longest day of the year, mm -hmm. more sun, it's powered by the sun, kind Photo, of. Photobioreactor. Photobioreactor, so, so maybe it overloaded the thing and it's not that complicated. Yeah. That'd be disappointing. I want monsters. See, it's funny because like when you were talking about all the monster stuff, I was like, I want science. You yeah, know? well, 
I don't want it to be science. I want it to be monsters. But I can see that it could just be science. Ugh. But maybe science could have been the monsters in our heart all along. Well, I think there's also, there's like science with some Happy birthday, Dr. Of... Giller. Your colleagues have organized a surprise birthday party this afternoon. Please act surprised. <laughs> Ken Giller. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we play Happy this? Happy birthday, Ken. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick buzz. If we can have a meeting in the lab at, say, quarter to six. It's pretty important. It um, needs to be before Monday, though. Yes, I have a meeting on Monday morning, so um, I need to discuss this issue with you before then. Dear Dr. Giller, we would like to extend our best wishes to you on your birthday. Now that we are here... Now that we here at Bradwell R&D appreciate your important work, know that we appreciate your work. <laughs> now that we appreciate your work, you're fired. Goodbye. Enjoy this day and many more you will spend with us. Join us. Francis, it's my birthday and I'm here with you. Reprobates. Reprobates instead of my family. Okay, so I'm at the CO2 extraction system. Obviously, it's not running. But I can't tell why. Because it does have power. Huh. Let me try to figure this out. So we might as well go big and break out a fancy brandy. We can sit among the algae water tanks. It'll be fun, aka fully mediocre, but at least fancy. I also heard some mutterings about a surprise party. I don't know what you think you've heard, but if you think that anyone around here could be bothered to leave their computers long enough to put a party together, then you have a much better view of people than I do. Wink! I'll swing by your lab just after six. I've been stuck in this water initiative meeting all day. Not that you've heard of from me, blah, 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 blah. Hi, Mikey. We need those water pipes connected to the waste bio pipes. Those waste pipes connect to the bioreactor system. Do you need to get maintenance to do anything, or can you get on that? Hi, Ken. Those two pipes don't easily connect up. They'll need to be sh to shimmy up some pipes around the to leave a clear path. Then I should be able to attach it up to some temp substances pipes. Remind me, I'm going to have to ask Clyde for some substance allowance. Ugh. So I think we need to fix the substance pipes. From what I see. We gotta make pipes. Hell yeah. Give me that. Are, are you... What do the little plus signs mean? It means it's... I can't. Int I'm trying to. I. I don't know. Is it something on the back or? No. Huh. I don't really. I really weird. don't know. The fuck? Don't trust. Don't trust it. Don't trust that. I don't trust that. Don't think you have time to read. I thought that was one of those, like, you know, where they're like, this is your colon. <laughs> like, this is what constipation looks like. 